Okay, so we arrived at the big guns. Now I'm just going to give you a word of warning now. It's the 10th of December. As I was driving up, the road's still quite potholy, especially up near, near up the area where the car park is. Car park, it's not very big. If you need, if you want to come out, I would come out quite early. Just be aware of this time of year, especially the sun's lowered down. So as you're coming up, the sun does get in your eyes a bit. But we're going to see the guns. This is what it's all about. The guns of Mazaron is the big guns, the big Vicar guns. Should we have a look? <laughs> Just a reminder, left hand corner, there'll be a list of videos there to do with this subject. Now below the video as well will be all the information you need to know about the video, be where I am, the stuff that I use, I'm all about the equipment, the music. Also don't forget to ring the bell on YouTube. That reminds you when I'm bringing out my next video. Now I bring out videos twice a week. I'm trying to keep it to Tuesdays and Thursdays. But yeah, ring the bell. And uh, you can carry on now. So this is the uh, first building you're gonna see. We're just gonna have a quick look. I would say, looking at that, um, I don't know. They've got, they have got port holes in the side of them. Oh, they haven't. <laughs> so they're either toilets. I mean, they wouldn't be cells, I don't think. Right, there's another, looks like it's probably another watch out building just up there, but right up on the top is the watchman battery. I've done a video on that, so check out me playlist for that. I've got my dog whinging. There's another, and this is another tunnel I didn't even know about, so I'm just going to see if I can get the torch onto it. No, it's not. I'm not going down there, but there's plenty of tunnels about. And that's, I think that's another thing you've got to bring, guys, is bring a torch if you're, if you're like exploring. But I'm not going down there. Yeah, this, because it's all got these cubicles, I would say that you're probably looking at the, uh, it's probably the shower block, washing area. So this is another part of the entrance, another sentry box. <clears throat> I would say that's where you get your cup of tea from, really, myself. Um, it's probably an information desk, whatever. I would say that's a guard room. Now we're going to see the big guns. So we go straight on up the hill there. If you went down the other one, that would take you down to the forward position. But we're going to the guns. Interesting to see that the sign's still up there, saying the guard room. And you can all bet for sure that that in the back there is the cell for all the naughty people that don't go and do their job properly. <laughs> but yeah. Looking back up the car park. Surprised it hasn't got any windows there, but it hasn't. So this would probably be the um, the army group badge. I don't know what that is. I mean, it looks like a washroom of some sort. Maybe it's to wash your feet you've got a sitting position there um we're going back into the, the main hall somebody's bedroom no doubt uh another room there it's probably a could be a, a dining hall area could be even for the officers because it was a bit posh to me somebody's nicked the fireplace <laughs> so this is the way we'll be going up to it Obviously something bigger and was going on. Bit of lifting gear. Obviously all the storage stuff. Okay, now according to TripAdvisor, they class this as the, uh, the Disneyland of um, Maveron. 
why it was sculptured like this, God knows, but it was. Um, you got the emblem, probably of the gun battery that was stationed there. Now, I'm not going to go through all the entrances, but these turrets that you can see, I've got like stairways to take you up to the next level. Where it says Pi Zani 1, <laughs> there's, a, there's a side door there, and that, now that goes round the back. And if you watch one of my other videos, I think it's called Go Underground, I'll show you the way to get under the guns and, and virtually you can get up right up inside the guns. You can see the works, you can see the uh, machinery that made the guns turn. But I'm not doing that today. <laughs> you got to watch the videos. What you will see dotted around up here is a lot of these bunkers because you can imagine this would be a, a prime area for it to be bombed by aircraft. So you've got lots of little bunkers around. Loads of seating. So this is the furthest point of where the guns are. I'm just looking back at the car park now. Looking a bit busy. Like I said, you've got to get here early guys so you'll not be able to park. There's already people up here on the guns. What's the time now? Let's have a quick look at the time. Give you some idea. So it's half past 12. It's, uh, you're probably gonna think, hang on a minute, you did a, an introduction in the morning. I did. <laughs> you probably cottoned on now. What I've done, I've, today I've gone out and done two of the batteries. I've just come back up to the guns. So it's still the 10th of December. What a fantastic day. You know, it's boiling hot. Bonnie's um, had a sweetie. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing place to come, especially on a day like this. Now, sometimes with the weather it can be, you know, unpredictable. Sometimes it can be low cloud here, but I've never actually been in a low cloud. It can get windy at times. It's been windy off and on today. But yeah, that's pretty good. So the guns of Mazaron, that's what I call them. Officially they're supposed to be called Cartagena guns because uh, they're in the district of Cartagena. But when you look on uh, Google and that and search, it usually comes up to the Mazaron guns because it's not far from Mazaron. Right, we're at a feet of height, I should say, of 800 to 1,000 feet high. Now this is a part of the coastal defense system because what it is protecting in Cartagena is the headquarters of the Spanish Mediterranean fleet. Now this was planned in 1912, construction 1920s, and it was declined in the 70s, and finally abandoned in the 1993. So it's had a quite a long life, considering. Now the guns didn't actually fire in anger from what we are. Uh, anyway, the guns were installed between 1932 and 36, with uh, magazines, lookout points, control rooms. At the time, 
is the finest anti-air, anti-naval guns at that period. Now the two guns that you can see now were produced by Britain at the manufacturers of Vickers, made at Barlow in Furness factory back in 1927-28. The barrels are 59 feet long, it's a 15 inch and could fire a projectile weighing 195 pounds some 20 miles at a speed of 2,500 feet per second. So you wouldn't want to be in front of that. Each gun weighs about 88 tons. However, the, the coastal defense gave little protection from air raids. So you can't see it on the video, but I did one on the Watchman Tower. That was where the anti-aircraft guns were. Um, yeah, and apparently the only time where it, it nearly was in anger, it was obviously during the Civil War, 1947 when they were trying to protect against Franco coming in, but obviously that all changed. So yeah, some big guns. And getting these guns here is pretty amazing. I haven't got any footage of it, but it did come, they built a harbor down below and they actually pulled it up with a couple of steam engines. Big task, big task. Now, and the whole story of these guns, believe it or not, back in the 1920s, Argentina, had ordered a big battleship by Vickers which they were just about to build and for some reason Argentine pulled out so the, the, the gun turrets were up for sale quite cheaply and Spain jumped in it and yeah now they got a few of these along the coast I've done another video uh, a couple of years back where me and Bonnie walked for miles thank for this one you ain't got walked too far and to be honest this is a bit of a tourist attraction You're going to find most of these uh, observation points, and this is one of them, where I have the silhouettes of the ships. So I can capture that for you. So we've got the English, uh, I believe that's the, uh, the Americans, and you've got the French. In the corner there. Okay, I've gone into the observation thing. I'm, I'm not going to go up these steps. They're just too narrow for me, but they take you up to the observation point. I'm not going up there. I think everybody does this. I've seen people put bikes on there, people stand on there. I couldn't do it. That's the second observation post. I think in that one they haven't got the actual um, pictures of the ships, but it's got a steep staircase. I can't get up there, but it gives you a, a view. But that's for you to explore. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's the uh, trip of big guns. Me and Bonnie have finished now. We've had a long day out at the guns today. She's already whinging because I haven't given any water. But what I always say, check out the playlist because I've done quite a few videos of the guns, especially going underground, visiting all the other buildings. But as I always say, keep watching because you might miss something. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>